today i got a very beautiful question and this question is do scientists pray a sixth grade student hillis bright wrote to albert einstein and albert einstein response to her on january 24th 1936 whether scientists pray if so what they pray for so albert einstein wrote Dear Phyllis, I have tried to respond to your question as simply as I could. Here is my answer. Scientific research is based on the idea that everything that takes place is determined by laws of nature. And therefore, this holds for the actions of people. For this reason, a research scientist will hardly be inclined to believe that event could be influenced by a prayer, that is, by a wish addressed to a supernatural being. However, it must be admitted that our actual knowledge of the laws is only imperfect and fragmentary, so that actually the belief in the existence of the basic, all-embracing laws in nature also rest on sort of faith all the same this faith has been largely justified so far by the success of scientific research but on other hand everyone who is seriously involved in the pursuit of science became convinced that a spirit is manifest in the laws of the universe a spirit vastly superior to that of man and one in the face of which we with our modest power must feel humble in this way the pursuit of science lead to a religious feeling of a special sort which is indeed quite different from the religiosity of someone more naive i hope this answers your question best wishes albert einstein a systematic function indicates a system which also indicates structure that is what einstein very beautifully explained that one must be very humble to understand that there is laws of nature behind everyone's success and that is what in bhagavad gita very beautifully explained by lord krishna maya dakhena prakruti suyate sucharacharam hetna nena konteya jagat parivartate very beautiful thing which explain which you can correlate this which the reader the letter written to phyllis bright